let me give you a tip. If you go in a wig store, you go into one of these beauty supplies, you got to take in a dollar and they'll let you try on three. Sometimes they're rude. The one that I went to, there's an old woman that works in there. She's mean as a devil. She's some, really, truly, she's an Asian lady. I don't know where they're from, but she's mean. And I have been in there to try on wigs before, and she'll go, you can't try on more than three. Even if she does, I'm buying two wigs. And I'm like, I don't even know why I give her my business, mainly because it's the closest place to me and I don't want to go somewhere else. But it sure ain't because of her, because she's mean as the devil. And yes, she is the, I'll tell you where they are, because I don't care. She is in Hiram at the beauty supply next to the academy. Okay, she's mean. And some of y'all may have been there. Now, there's a new beauty supply in our old Ryan's. And their son is actually running it, but doggone if they don't let that woman work in there. So if you run across her, don't be surprised if she's mean to you and don't want to take time out with you. And if you don't want to give her your business, then stop at a different one if you're not from around here. Don't, don't drive this way and give her your business because they're all going to have the same brands and the same type of wigs. Um... Julie says, don't do business with them. I don't want to. I mean, but I mean, it's convenient. And so I don't even care. That's the way I am. I'm like, ha, oh, God made you mean, but uh, I'll forgive her, I guess, and go in there and buy a wig anyway. But that day I couldn't try on more than three. She wouldn't let me. And I think what it amounted to is I asked them to open up the case where the real hair wigs were. And I wanted to try on one. And they were like over $100. And she was such a snob. She didn't want me to try it on. Because I wasn't all dressed up that day. And she probably thought I couldn't afford it. Can you believe that? That's how people are. I, I just gave you a lesson on why we shouldn't spend time uh, dolling up ourselves for people like that. That's why. Because people who think you got to be dolled up and in nice clothes to look, to, to speak to you are not worth your time to even be around. So don't try to impress them. I love people, whether, however they look. I don't care what they got on. I don't care what how they're dressed. I don't care what color they are. I don't care if they drive a nice car, because I sure don't. We got 1999, a 2008, a 2000, and two 2000, see. We got a 1999, a 2008, and a 1990, let's see. A 2006, a 2008, and a 2007, and a 1999. And Chris's truck's so banged up, it's ridiculous. And Amy wrecked his truck. Can y'all believe that? After she, after she hit the doggone garage, she went somewhere Friday night and hit somebody in the doggone parking lot at Sh Steak and Shake. I could have died. Lord, these teenagers. Y'all just wait. The ones that are watching that have young kids and they ain't teenagers yet. Woo. And what's so crazy about your taxes is, I don't know if y'all know this either, but once they turn 17, you don't get a tax write-off on them anymore. They're not considered a child because they're supposed to get out and work. But what, I don't know what in the world the state's thinking because when they're teenagers, they, they got to have a car to drive. They don't have to have a car. They got, then you got insurance to pay. They got prom. They got all this stuff at school. They got graduation. They're about to start college. And good Lord, what, what's the deal? They're cheap. As, they're expensive when they're babies. They're cheap when they're middle in, in between the baby and the middle school age. And then once they get to be a teenager, they're real expensive all over again. So, um, I have talked and talked. Unacceptable. No, don't give them your money. Reminds me of a scene in Pretty Woman. <laughs> Jill, you're funny. Uh, and Joe says she's glad she's done with the 10 years. Um, this was my bill for two wigs. I got two wigs and two uh, hair stockings. And let's see, one wig was $34.99. The other one was $39.99. Um, and then I got two stockings because somebody told me I should try wearing them, and I don't like wearing them. And... Um, it was eighty-four forty-nine with taxes and everything. So that's not too bad. And I got shorter wigs for the summer. So I'm happy. So I've got two wigs I can wear. And y'all, I can wear these for a long time. All you gotta do is wash them and hang them up to dry. And they're so easy to take care of. Just 
I hope that real hair wig I bought is not going to tangle up and go straight. I didn't realize it was a real hair wig or I wouldn't have got it. If it does like my last one, I'm going to be so disappointed. So don't go buy one like that until I wash that one and see how it does. But now this Foxy Silver is beautiful, y'all. But if you have a bigger beauty supply, if you live in a bigger area than I do, you might can find a wig like this in different colors, like in a blonde or a strawberry blonde. Uh, I know they'll have them in gray. They'll have them in black and brown in this color for sure, okay? Y'all have a wonderful day. Um, Tammy, I bought you something I want you to try. Where do I send it? <laughs> Sandy, if you will send me a PM, I'll send you my home address. I just don't advertise it on here. Um, my P.O. box is advertised on here. Um, I got a present in the mail yesterday from Shannon Chap Chap Chapman, I think, or Chapel Chapman, I think. But I've got two more coming today for somebody else because she sent me a PM, and I thought I'd open all three of them in front of y'all instead of doing one one day and two the next day. Or I, my curiosity's up on this one I have in the house because I, I won't get the other ones until late tonight because they have to be delivered to the post office. Um, so what I might do is open it during Bible study today at 11 just because my curiosity, me and Chris are both like, what in the world is that? Um, so what else was I going to tell y'all? I guess that's it for my hair anyway. Uh, the other one was called... Oh, it's not on here. Let me see if it's on the tag on the inside. Motown, Motown Tress. So it's made, I guess it's a Motown wig, and it's called Tress, T-R-E-S-S. -S. Uh, this is 100% Remy, whatever that means, human hair. This one is. Um, it was just as cheap as the other one. This one is pretty too, y'all. It is my 27 color. 27 is a pretty natural looking red. It is a it is a 27 with a little bit of uh, the strawberry blonde in it too. Okay, so this is how it looks, and it's cute too. I mean, I'm a redhead, so it's cute on me. And so this is this one. So just because you're going into a beauty supply that's for black women doesn't mean you can't go well go in there and pick out a wig now just don't go in there and get a weave and if you if you ask them you can say look will you show me which one of these are weaves and which one of these are wigs well just let me give you a tip as long as you're looking for a short wig like this it's probably not going to be a weave so that's your 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 main thing so this one is really cute as well, I think. Um, and if I wear this one, Mama told me, because you know Mama's doing so good. Mama said, all right, Timmy, if you're going to wear that one, because I had it all bouffanted the other day. She said, um, take that one and kind of brush it behind your ears a little bit, you know, and brush it down a little bit so it's not so tall and wear it more like this is what Mama wanted me to do instead of it just being so big. Now, if y'all like big hair, if you're from the 80s, do this. I mean, it's cute either way to me. See how easy they are to style? Did you, did you just say that? How all you do is take your fingers and go underneath it and comb it the direction you want it to go? Just drop my glasses. But anyway, this one has kind of, it's kind of made to, to, to go to the side. Okay, so there's my two wigs. I thought I'd tell y'all about them, tell you where I got them, show you how simple dimple they are. And um, y'all stop and try on a wig. I guess that's it for now. Tell me the name of the wig. I came in at the end. Karen, this is called a Foxy Silver. It is a black lady wig. Um, it is, I'm going to show you the tag. It's so pretty. It's called Barbara. It's called the Foxy Silver Barbara. 
and the color, I know that's backwards, but it's F427. It's a brown with a tiny bit of red in there. You can barely see it, but it's just enough in there to keep it from looking so stark, you know. Uh, but that's that's the wig I got on. It's so pretty, y'all. I just love it. Love it. I'm in love with it, y'all. I'm so excited. Um, I will see y'all at Bible study day at 11. Bye. Love you.